guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little like vintage Y2K, early 2000s themed Instagram photo shoot. But I'm going to be taking pictures just for one post because I'm doing a little challenge which you guys will see in about a month I think the video will be up. So I spent over an hour trying to find my old camcorder. Actually, let me grab it for you. So I have this camcorder. It's got um, a dummy battery in it so it's connected to um, power but this camcorder is so old and I don't know just when you look through the screen it's so vintage it exactly fits the vibe that I want. This camcorder I love it I don't know how old it is but it's old enough that the SD card in it is 16 megabytes. I'm gonna be taking a picture through the screen I know those have been really popular lately and I don't want it to be like boring so I'm gonna try to maybe put my Polaroids in the background or something. The rest of my room is absolutely a mess. Um, we're not gonna talk about it. We're in a, a little bit of a renovation right now, but uh, I need to have some sort of background and it's not nice weather outside. It's kind of gray and rainy, so I need to think of something to put in the background. Also, I wanna dress up a little bit. I had such a vision for this picture that I really want it to look cool, so. Yeah, I'm gonna look through my closet and see if there's anything I can come up with to be a kind of, you know, outfit that relates to this a little bit, but we'll see what I come up with and then I'll do some makeup. So I have this Nike crop top that I absolutely love that I thrifted in Florida. And then I was thinking maybe low-waisted jeans, I'm not sure. But now that I just looked in the viewfinder at my clothing, I might just put on these sweatpants, keep those these on. They're Nike and they are a little wasted so they're kind of like, they might fit the vibe. So I'm going to try that first because I already have this on. I feel like that could be cute and I definitely need to find something like bubblegum pink, some jewelry or something. I don't really want to do bubblegum pink eyeshadow because I think that could make me look like I have pink eye. So I'm going to look for some jewelry, I'll put this on and we'll see how that works out. I found this relic in my bathroom. I lived in this thing for probably several years of my childhood. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this. Here's the look as of now. And I feel like the headband might be too much. I know the colors do go well together, but I don't want this to be like so 2000s it's bad. So I'm not sure. And also, I don't think this is the best look for me. Like, I'm looking at my mirror over here. It's not terrible. It's definitely comfortable. I don't blame past me for wearing this. It definitely could have been a look. But maybe not for me right now. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly if it's what I want for this photo shoot. But <laughs> I'm still going to try it. So I'm going to get the camera set up and try it out I guess and then I can still change things because I haven't put on any eyeshadow or anything yet so I guess I'll get things set up and be right back. <laughs> I know I look a little rough from this angle and also I'm trying to hold my camera and it's pretty heavy so I'm just going to show you because I'm obsessed with this. You just have to ignore the mess that my room is. I know it's a mess. Look at this. This is so cute. Oh no. Out of focus. There we go. Ah. Okay, I'm so excited for this, so I'm going to get this camera set up, filming, and I'm going to start taking some portraits. This is so vintage, and I love it, but I don't think the headband is a look through the camera, so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to set up this camera because my arm is burning, um, and then we'll check it out through my phone because my phone's going to be taking the pictures so that you guys can watch me take them through this. Okay, this looks so good already, but I have to go get my remote shutter and then we're gonna get started taking pictures. I just love this whole setup. I'm like looking through this viewfinder and it looks so good. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this headband or not. I'm gonna try a few first, but like, I cannot wait. So I'll be right back. Here we go. I feel like I'm in a Nike ad. Maybe I should send these to Nike. Okay, I'm gonna look. 
I have no idea how this is turning out, but let's take a peek. It looks really good, and I'm going to end this feed so you guys can just see the end. I don't want to make you wait through this, but, um, oh crap, I just pushed the camera. Um, I'm going to have to fix that, but I think it's turning out pretty well so far, so we'll see. But I think I might want to change the framing just a little bit because, um, the phone is seeing too much of the background, and I want it to be more just the, um, camera, so we'll see. But yeah, I guess I'll be back when I'm done or if I decide to change something. So I just did the lighting and the camera a little bit and I'm not exactly sure what happened because my phone just stopped and it had the Google screen just locked on it. So. I tried to reboot it and I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I think the storage is getting pretty full. Okay, every time I hit the button, it says like the Google rebooting screen, but it's kind of stuck like that. So I might be done. I might be forced to be done, but I'm going to try to figure this out and then I'll be back. Oh my gosh. Uh, my phone is stuck on the reboot screen. It just goes like on and off and it just says Google and I'm very concerned. I don't want to lose my pictures. I don't want to lose my, all of my TikTok drafts. I'm having a bad day. This is the icing on the cake. I am going to throw something. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be a chair. It might be, I don't know, something breakable. Okay, I'm sorry. I needed to vent. I'm going to go use my frustrated energy to exercise hopefully I'll get it out so sadly this video is going to have to be a Instagram photo shoot gone wrong because my phone it's a day later and it is still not working I don't know what's happening with it I might have to get a new one um, we're gonna try to sort it out but I don't see myself getting these pictures back anytime soon so <laughs> I apologize for that so sadly I only have the ones that I took on my camera they were looking really good, so I'm pretty annoyed about it, but my phone's just sitting there trying to get it to die fully and seeing if that will like reset the cycle that it's in. I don't really know. Um, after that, we're gonna have to like go through the boot settings. I don't know how to do that. And then eventually I might have to factory reset it so then I would lose the pictures because I didn't actually end up uploading to Google Photos, which is pretty sad also be losing all of my TikTok drafts. I have like 250 from the past two years, so that would be really annoying and sad. So I really hope I don't have to do that, but I might be buying a new phone soon. So I'm sorry this turned out to be a bust, but I did have fun initially when it was working. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I take those pictures, although you couldn't really see the final result, but hopefully I'll be able to do this again another time. Um, and I'll have to redo my photo challenge, which I kind of gave up on. It would be day two today, but <laughs> I couldn't do it because I don't even have a phone right now. So I'm going to try to get that figured out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to follow my social media, all at Rosie Revolts, and my Etsy shop, also at Rosie Revolts, and my book, I get outdoorsbook.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!